The Olympus BX53 Freeze Drawing Microscope by the Macron Group. Machine Preparation Fill small cryogenic storage dewar with liquid nitrogen. Fill liquid nitrogen reservoir to about three-fourths full and replace lid. Proper PPE, safety glasses, and cryogenic gloves must be used at all times. Ensure the gasket is properly seated on the rim when sealing and that the lid is fully latched. Turn on Lincoln controllers by clicking on the top and bottom buttons and verify readout is functioning. Turn on the microscope switch located on the side of the device. Turn on the microscope camera using the switch located on the top surface of the device. On the lab computer, open the link software on desktop. Navigate to the controller tab in the toolbar and click connect. The temperature and vacuum level should appear in the top left window. Navigate to the camera tab in the toolbar and click show. The microscope image should appear on the screen. Sucrose sample preparation. In a graduated cylinder, Fill ultra-pure water to the 50 milliliter line. Using a weighing boat, measure out 1.5 grams of sucrose to make a 3% weight sucrose solution. In a 250 milliliter beaker, put in 1.5 grams of sucrose, 50 milliliters of water, and a stir bar. Put the beaker on a stir plate until all the sucrose dissolves. Sample loading. Remove the objective lens head using the hex key attached to the rear of the machine. The set screw must be fully removed to separate the head. Open the stage by unscrewing the lid on the top surface. Place a small volume, approximately 10 microliters, of heat transfer oil on the temperature regulated stage. Be sure to place the drop slightly off center so as not to plug the illumination hole. Using the vacuum tweezers, place a large glass cover slip in the lollipop hoop. Move the stage around using the adjustment knobs to ensure the cover slip is seated and the oil is uniformly distributed. Using a pipette, dispense 3 to 4 microliters of your sample onto the large glass cover slip. Using the vacuum tweezers, place a small glass cover slip over the sample. Optical train alignment. Move the optical head such that the 20 times objective is selected. Close the aperture on the microscope. Adjust the position of the light source using the optical train adjustment knobs such that it lies at the center of the microscope eyepiece crosshair. Use the optical train focusing knob to bring the light source into focus. A properly focused optical train will give the appearance of a decagon. Open the aperture. Bring the sample into focus. This is most easily accomplished by navigating to the edge of the small cover slip. Here you can see an example of a properly aligned optical train as well as an image of the edge of the small cover slip. The last image shows an example of a frozen solution. Notice the change of color on the screen. Recipe Setup 
In the link control software, cycle to step 1 in the recipe list by clicking the arrows on the right-hand side of the recipe window. Input the desired ramp time, target temperature, hold time, liquid nitrogen pump speed, recommended to leave in auto mode, and chamber pressure. Input the desired image capture delay. Images are compiled into a video file at the end of run. The chosen delay will be based on the desired temperature resolution. For example, a 12 second delay with 1C per minute temperature ramp will produce an image every 0.2C of temperature change. Similarly, set up the parameters in step 2. Start process. Cycle the recipe indicator to step 1. Press the start button to begin the process. After completion of the freezing phase, plug in the vacuum pump. The pump must be plugged in manually. The controller will begin tracking once the chamber pressure begins to drop. Use the stage adjustment knobs to track the sublimation front during drying. Use the focus adjustment knobs to increase the resolution of the image. Shut down. Unplug the vacuum pump. In the pressure set point indicator, set the pressure to Atmos, atmospheric pressure. When the chamber is at atmospheric pressure, press the stop button to end the data acquisition. Data and video may be exported by right-clicking on the generated plots. Remove the objective lens head using the hex key attached to the rear of the machine. Unscrew the stage lid and remove the two cover slips and dried sample material using the vacuum tweezers. Clean the cover slips in a beaker using both acetone and IPA. Dry the cover slips using the nitrogen spray gun. Remove the lollipop and clean with IPA. Wipe the stage with a towel and IPA. Replace the lollipop and put the stage lid back on. Turn off the microscope and camera. Exit the link software. Transfer video or run data to any USB device or cloud storage.